Hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about something with a little more of a interesting rather than straightforward story. And this is going to be about first the Staple Bend Tunnel, which is the first railway tunnel that was ever created in the United States. And as the narrative goes that we're told, is that we just could not get over the Allegheny Mountains. We couldn't figure out what to do. So nobody went west because everybody was scared that we were going to encounter Native Americans or the wilderness, and there was no way to get through the mountains. And then all of a sudden, the Pennsylvania government decided that they were going to dynamite their way through the mountain, and this is the tunnel that we got. It was began, as the narrative goes, in 1831, and it is uh, lined with limestone. Here is a rendition of an artist painting of an old train, they say, going through the Staple Bend Tunnel. Now, what I find interesting about this tunnel is it is part of the Pennsylvania Railroad. Pennsylvania Railroad, from my research, I did not know this, but was the second biggest corporation in the world for over 100 years, um, right behind the United States government. So if that tells you anything, uh, it's very interesting. Now, looking into the research of the Pennsylvania Railroad and their ultimate demise, or if you want to look at it that way, um, basically they went under government control. And how did that happen? Well, there was a railroad that was started in the late 1800s to be competitive with the Pennsylvania Railroad. And this was the Southern Pennsylvania Railroad. And this Southern Pennsylvania Railroad was run by basically three men. And these three men were William Vanderbilt, Andrew Carnegie, and William Clay Frick. Now, their idea was to make a more extravagant rail line than the Pennsylvania Railroad. And they would do this by creating roughly eight or nine tunnels going through the Allegheny Mountains. Uh, they did this at the southernmost point of the Allegheny Mountains, which would be considered by many at the time to be the roughest terrain nearly impossible to build anything on and or to go through uh some of these tunnels that they built uh multiple were over a mile long through these mountains and um basically they were all completed um to the point that the limestone was all laid the interiors were basically completed on most of them and the outsides or the the, the old world looking structure on the outside uh, was basically completed. However, before these tunnels could fully open, financial and structural doubts came into play, and interest in the company was gone. So, as the story goes that we're told, then these tunnels just sat throughout the Allegheny Mountains for roughly a decade before the Southern Pennsylvania Railroad, Carnegie, Frick, and Vanderbilt decided to go to the Pennsylvania Railroad and proposition them to see if um, they would like to take over the Southern Company. However, the Pennsylvania Railroad and its president said no. And this is where things get interesting. This is when you find that the millionaires from back then always seem to get lucky because that same year, the president of the Pennsylvania Railroad actually ended up passing away. A few years after that, you would actually find that the Fulton Railway of uh, Robert Fulton fame would buy the Southern Pennsylvania Railroad and end up subsidizing that to the Pennsylvania government. So in the end, um, Frick, Vanderbilt, and Carnegie got a bailout, so to speak, from the Pennsylvania government and never had to file for bankruptcy or anything like that. Then these tunnels basically uh, remained out of use for about 50 years until Pennsylvania decided to create the first highway in the United States. Uh, they created what they called uh, the USA's first autobahn. And it used these tunnels um, to create the first highway, you know, a road without any stoplights or um, any traffic, anything like that, no stops of any kind. And it was the first road of that kind with no speed limit or anything in the, in the whole United States. So they basically repurposed these old tunnels um, for modern use.
they, they put it basically in plain sight so you wouldn't ask questions about where these awesome tunnels came from and how they were constructed. So we have roughly seven of these nine tunnels that were repurposed, originally built in the 1880s by the richest men in America, now being used by the government of Pennsylvania and given a different history. I'm going to follow this up with some random but very interesting images that I found from 1918. These are ads for different government agencies during World War I.
and I'm also going to wrap up uh, the very final images of this video are going to be certain things that I couldn't really find a category for, including probably my most favorite photograph that I found in the last few months, which uh, appears to be depicting a architect or an artist or, um, you know, someone with power setting up a scene or setting up uh, what will be a photograph of what will be presented as a city or a building or a location when really it's uh, more of a mirage or more of a mind trick than something that's actually real. Uh, the photograph kind of speaks for itself and once you see it you'll understand what I'm saying but after seeing it it made me think more about all these old photographs we see where certain people and certain aspects of the photograph don't really appear right you know like the ratios and, and certain things like that and it just makes you wonder how many of these old photographs truly were edited or were manufactured so to speak so i'll leave these images with you i hope you're enjoying watching my videos i really appreciate you being here thank you let me know your thoughts below and i will see you on the next one